Well, we're here because of Sydney's newest awards, the Fresh Awards, and they've been introduced by Sydney Markets to celebrate everything that's amazing about produce in this city, from fruit and veg, flowers, even to the people who write about them, the bloggers. We are celebrating two of the awards' highest winners today. Ken Irvine, you are the winner of Greengrocer of the Year. Thank you, Chris. It's a big deal for you and everybody at Ziggy's at Fish Week in Canberra. You guys were pretty emotional about the win on the night. We were very emotional. For us, it's been a lifetime achievement, I suppose. We won, won our first Green Grocer of the Month award in 2009, and we decided then that our goal was Green Grocer of the Year, and it's taken to now to achieve it. So how have you done it? Uh, by being the best. But our passion for what we do is, I think, the difference. Uh, we, we get up in the morning to want to do what we do, and that's the difference. So, Let's just get on to your morning. What time does your morning start? It's a lot earlier than most people. My morning as a rule starts somewhere between three and four o'clock. Um, my guys tell me I'm crazy for starting that early and I don't need to, but I think it helps, it makes a difference for us. But why do you get up that early? Because I want to get to work. <laughs> I want to be a fruit rat. <laughs> but I touch the fruit and vegetables. That's right. yeah. Wow. So yeah. where did the passion for fruit and veg come from? Uh, to be honest, I don't know where the actual passion came from, but we're third generation fruiterers and I've loved doing this since the day I started. I left school when I was 15 and I've done this ever since. And your son's in the business now, was it hard to persuade him to go into it? No, he, he actually had to miss a day of, of um, tech basically to come to work for us because one guy was away and he never went back to tech after it. So Wow, yeah. wow. So did he say, now I understand, Dad? I could get what it's all about? I think so, yeah. 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 We gave him the spud section and he loved doing it. <laughs> so you, you, you say you won the award because you're the best at what you do. What goes into being the best though? What's behind that? Attention to detail. My guys would tell you it's OCD, but it's attention to detail. I tell them it's in the pursuit of excellence. You know, every apple has to sit the right way, every sign has to be correct. It's just the, the little things that we do that add up to the big difference. And what sort of a difference does that make to your customers? I think it makes a big difference. We have a very loyal customer base. We, we have a, a group of people who we know, a lot of them we know by first and second names. We know the kids, we know their jobs. And I think that comes from that personal interaction with people that you have. So. The thing that amazes me when you come here to Sydney Markets is, is some of the stats and, and one of them is that two and a half million tonnes of fruit and veg come through here every year and it feeds two thirds of the population. How do you know what to buy when you come here because the, the variety is huge and the quality is amazing. The, the difference is there are different shops at different levels and you have to buy to the standard of your shop. If you're a high end shop you buy a high end produce, if you're a low end shop you're buying a cheaper line. We've always aimed to be high end and I think the product sells itself then. It doesn't need a salesman, it, it sells itself. But how do you know what's good? Uh, be a third generation fruit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you come on, you're gonna give me some tips. So there's gotta be something I can do when I go to my green grocer and go, okay, how do I know something that, that's good from something that's kinda of just okay? The best tip I tell most people is look for Ziggy's Fresh written on the sign. <laughs> if you read nice that, product placement there. <laughs> if, if you read that on the sign, you're pretty safe. Um, it's hard to, dis, to, to, to find that because there's so many different things, mm. but freshness I think stands out. You see it in a product when it's fresh. You can pick something that's fresh from something that's not. and you. There's just something about it, it glows if you know what I mean. So is it just the look or is it the smell or the touch or? It's a combination of all three, mm. it really is. Um, how do I describe it to you? And again, it depends whether it's a leaf vegetable. It's a leaf vegetable, you want it to be crisp and alive. You want it to stand up on its own. If it's an apple, it's got to have a shine to it. You don't want it to be dull and looking as, as though it's been there for a while, you know? Citrus, the same thing, you want that, that glow on the citrus and it, it's what makes a difference. And how about the smell, is that important? Smell's very important, but it's a little bit of a deception because it's a seasonal thing too. And a lot of the new hybrids now don't smell like the older varieties did. Mm. And some things, if you can smell them, you shouldn't. They shouldn't have a smell. So. Yeah, like durian. Yeah, yeah, you hit the nail <laughs> on the head there. You don't want to be smelling durian at all. I don't know how people eat it. So what's your favourite piece of fruit? What's your favourite type of fruit? My most favourite all year round fruit is an apple. Apples are safe, you always eat an apple. Any variety? Jazz probably. 
Okay. Love jazz. What's so good about jazz? Crisp, sweet, great shelf life. Um, they got a tang, but they're still sweet. Mm. And they are really, really crisp apple. And your favourite vegetable? Broccoli. Broccoli oh. or broccolini. Is that because your mum told you that? Or? No, you know, when we were kids, broccoli didn't exist, you know. Oh, it, didn't it? No, no. Is it a in, new, new in vegetable? My, well, in my dad's old shop in Yash, we never sold broccoli or broccolini. They never existed. Where Zuc did it come from? Zucchini didn't exist then. Wow, yeah. oh, zucchinis had to be around. Italians yeah. would have been growing I, them for years in gardens, I, wouldn't they? I can remember the first day my brother brought home zucchinis from the markets and my dad said, this will never work, this will never sell. <laughs> and, and look where zucchini is now. But I guess you look at all the new things coming into fruit and veg now and all the new varieties, part of your job is to educate people, isn't it, really? Yeah, the that, that's, that's the beauty of talking to people in the shop. When there's a new item comes into the shop, and just last week we actually started a new mandarin variety. First time, brilliant thing. And you can stop people in the shop and say, try this, this is really special, and explain to them what it is. That's the passion that comes out in what we do. That's what I love about doing this business, you know. You can, you, you've got something new to work with. It's not a tin of baked beans. You're not saying, try these baked beans. It's like, this is a new thing and it's, I love doing it. Well, you can tell and you can see why you won the award. Congratulations on being Green Grocer of the Year. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.